Hi, I'm John Park for Adafruit, and this is CuriBot. CuriBot is our new robot kit that uses the Arduino 101 microcontroller board with the 32-bit Curi Intel processor on board. Now, this robot kit is a great way to learn about robotics. It uses our three-layer robot base, has DC motors, a motor shield, and best of all, the Arduino 101 board is a Bluetooth-capable board right out of the box. So that means when you put this together, you can control it using your phone or even a watch or tablet. The CuriBot is a great way to learn about robotics. It comes as a kit that you build yourself. Since you get to build this robot yourself, you'll become very familiar with exactly how it works and this will give you some great ideas for how to modify and upgrade it as you learn more about robotics. Another nice thing about using the Arduino 101 as the foundation for the CuriBot is that this is a standard sized Arduino, which means we can use all kinds of different shields to extend the capabilities of the robot, such as lights, music, sound, power, and so on. In fact, the CuriBot uses the motor shield to power the DC motors, as well as steppers and servos if you want to add those later. Once you've built the CuriBot, one of the first things you'll want to do is download the Blue Fruit LE software to your device. Then you can connect to the bot and control it using the control pad. Another fun way to extend the capabilities of your bot is to add some lighting. So I've got a NeoPixel 24 ring and I've soldered connections to the D in, voltage and ground. What I'm gonna do is attach this to the bottom of the bot and then I'll be able to use the Blue Fruit LE app to change the colors of my underglow. Now that I've got the NeoPixel ring installed, I've got it connected into 3.3 volts for power, ground, and pin 6 on the Arduino 101. Now, in my Blue Fruit app, I can go to the color picker and change the color of the underglow before I take it for a spin. I've added a piezo buzzer to pins 12 and ground on the Arduino 101 now. So now with a little bit of different software uploaded to the CuriBot, I can play a song using one of the alternate buttons in the app. So I can still drive, but when I get where I'm going, I'll press this button and get a song. Now you can change the software to learn about using the tone command to play different songs back using different pitches and durations of the notes. If you'd like to learn more about autonomous robot behavior, you can follow the section of the guide on distance sensing. These are infrared distance sensors. I've mounted the IR sensors to the front of the bot. And now with some new software uploaded, it's gonna drive until it senses something a little bit too close for comfort and then turn. Since the motor shield that runs the DC motors on CuriBot can also run servo motors, I decided to take a little micro hobby servo and create a candy dispenser. By turning the servo, we can pull back the head on this candy dispenser, and we can also dress it up with someone a little more familiar, our friend Adabot. And now I've uploaded some new software to CuriBot, which will allow the extra button, the one button on the Blue Fruit LE app to control the hobby servo. Check it out.
That's CuriBot, the Arduino 101 based three layer robot with Bluetooth LE that you can control from your phone. Build one and start learning about robotics. I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries.